up and good morning guys welcome back to another video are you guys ready for the cutest dang thing you have ever seen on my channel maybe even youtube and that is hold on if i can get it open come on girls <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i would like to proudly introduce you to the newest little babies at rhino ranch our two little goats here hi girls what's up what's up come on let's get some sunshine if you guys have ever been around baby goats, they are the absolute cutest little things in the world. I gotta give a huge shout out to James and his wife for um, obviously raising these little goats, but offering them to me. Um, they knew we've been having issues with goats and unfortunately, all of our miniature goats that we had were just so stubborn, they would not go in the pens at night. I mean, to the point of where they would run clear across the other side of the property just to avoid going in. Luckily, Bubbles is the smart one. He lets us lock them up at night, so he is safe. So we needed a couple of younger goats that we could train from an early age that hey, at night you sleep in this nice comfortable pen and you don't get eaten by coyotes. Like, is it, I think it's a fair trade off. So we haven't named these girls yet. You got some stuff on your back there. Yeah, you got some stuff on your back. And see the great thing about these two girls is they were bottle fed, so they will not leave your side. They will shadow you anywhere that you go on the property, which is good again, because that means if you need to lock them up, they'll follow you into the pen. Y'all are already doing a good job here to earn your keep. Appreciate it. And we actually got 10 guinea hen chicks. I don't remember what the heck the proper term for all this stuff is, but those are currently in Dedek's house because it kind of already smelled like there are guinea hen chicks living in there. So, so that's where we're raising those. They're obviously in a cage in Dedek's house, but that's the safest place for them right now until they grow big enough to be released to where they hopefully join the rest of the pack of guinea hens. All right, well that was your daily dose of cute. Now we gotta get back to work. So today is pretty much the final day we have to prep for the Rhino Ranch entrance, well, floor number one. Now, if you guys remember when we were setting this project up and I told you um, anytime you use screws around concrete, you wanna tape them off because you will get little bits of concrete and the sand and the gravel mixed in that goes inside the screw head and makes it almost impossible to pull out. Plus, they can be really hard to locate once the forms are covered in concrete. Gone ahead and taped off every single screw that we're gonna need to remove because we are gonna be pouring this monolithically. So as we're pouring, they're gonna be stripping off the face of the curb right there so they can finish the whole front of the curb. Obviously the backside, it's gonna be planter slash dirt slash whatever. We're not too worried about what the backside of the curb is gonna look like. So that form will remain in place, but the whole front form is gonna to have to come off while the concrete is still wet. That way they can finish this entire front. So we need to make sure it can be done efficiently because here's the kicker. It's supposed to be 95 degrees the day we're pouring. Unfortunately, we're gonna have a 95 degree pour day, which is gonna be very chaotic because uh, if this stuff goes off and the concrete hardens, you're done. Like there's no do-overs and we're chipping out a whole lot of money's worth of concrete that I don't want to chip out. So we're going to make sure we do all of our prep today. We're going to keep the ground as moist as we can. That way it doesn't suck the moisture out of the concrete when we pour it. Now, while the guys are doing our last minute prep, we need to go pick up a new truck that I purchased. And I'm very, very excited about this. It's so random and out of the ordinary, but I think you guys are going to dig it. Um, we're not taking my trailer because my trailer is too tall. And I don't know if it's gonna make it up on that thing. And the driveway that we have to go to is kind of a pain in the butt to get that trailer into. So we're meeting up with the homie SoCal Greg A, AKA Hamilton. And the thing with this truck is it's gonna be going to the shop, which means we gotta take some stuff out of the shop and bring it to the ranch because there's not a whole lot of room at the shop. So today's the ideal day for that. Now, if we're gonna be having another project truck coming into the shop here, we gotta make some room. Albeit we've got like plenty of space right now. You guys see how quickly the shop can fill up once we get a couple customers trucks in here, our trucks or whatever it may be. What's gonna be going out to the ranch is my big street sweeper, which I actually bought to be able to use on the new driveway that we're pouring. Not only the approach, but like the actual driveway that's gonna be going to the house. It's gonna be pretty freaking long and it gets dusty out at the house. I don't wanna sit there and like try and hose off a thousand feet of driveway. So instead, I bought the street sweeper. This was never intended to live at the shop. That's gonna go out to the ranch. Might actually take my little floor scrubber here out to the ranch because this would be good on the back patio. Big floor scrubber stays in the shop. That one's ideal for this area. Then if you notice, we got a bunch of sets of wheels and tires here, my favorite. We got Dedex welds. These are gonna be going on his Jeep. So these are gonna be going out to the ranch, hopefully today. So we're gonna do our best to clear this stuff out and that should give us enough room to bring the mini truck in here and have it as like a little side project that we're working on in between some of the bigger projects. Smarter, not harder. Now I don't know what this booger weighs, but the like ancient version that this has replaced weighed almost 500 pounds, so. I'm gonna not try to lift this by myself. Gotta be close to 300, I would say, maybe. Now the fun thing is gonna be getting the big street sweeper out, especially because I got the 110 crated up that's gonna be getting shipped off to Georgia. I don't really wanna move that because it's not quite strapped down yet. I also don't wanna do what Dedek did and put more holes in the drywall. 
trying to squeeze it into this area, so. This should be very Austin powers -y. Austin powers -y. Something like that. Try to make sure it starts first. A little choke. Might have tapped the drywall a little bit. I don't know if that was me or Daddy, but let's get her outside here before we die of fumes from this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Scrubber on scrubber violence. We got SoCal Greg A pulling up. Sorry, I'm late. I mean, was it an impressive poop that you had to take? A little impressive? A little bit. All right. We're going to get Danny's trailer hooked up to the crew cab OBS here. Great timing, Sergio. Why? We need to lift that in the bed of the truck. It's probably gonna take all three of us. You been doing your squats, Danny? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Ready? Uh, we got the Hold on. Clear the front wheel. There you go. Well, that was easy. Now, if y'all remember, when I bought the street sweeper, um, I couldn't get it up the ramp on my dovetail trailer, and it honestly has three wheels so you need something in the center there we actually had to forklift it on and then sketchily drive it off thankfully my dovetail trailer the ramps go the full width of the trailer um this one they do not so i don't want anybody to think i'm flexing over here about how much money i got or anything because we're going to use a sacrificial piece of plywood here but here's to hoping that center wheel doesn't punch through that plywood because if i'm not mistaken i was told that that street super weighs about four thousand pounds here goes nothing I'm hoping this is the sketchiest load we're doing today. But there's a chance it's not, because the truck we're picking up, the brakes don't exactly work very well. Don't try this at home. Am I lined up? Yeah, so plywood's not really gonna work. If we have a couple two by fours, we can throw underneath it. Oh, dude, that's solid, Sergio. Till about right there. there, but it's, it doesn't want to go over lips and stuff. That's the only problem. All right, let's try it. I got an idea, I got an idea, I got a 
Again, don't try this at home. <laughs> don't try this at home. We got battery, we got a battery. Battery good. Got tech over here. Sergio, you got a battery in there? Uh, it's alright, we can run it to the truck. <laughs> It'll reach, right? Danny, it's not meant for long beds. Why well, they gotta put the battery so far back? Literally like the perfect distance right here. Hold on, one more time, what was that, buddy? <laughs> I probably should have checked to see if it worked before I unspooled it. Oh, <laughs> we'll just wrap it back up with all the cable that was around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's wide enough, you'll... It should be. There it is. Uh -huh. All right, all right, all right, we're back in, we're back in, we're back in, boys. After a battle and a half, we got the sweeper loaded up. We looking straight Beverly Hillbillies right now with all this junk. I mean, we'll see how the old uh, crew cab does. Chris is on his way here to meet up with us. Then we're all gonna roll out to the ranch, drop all this stuff off, then go pick up my new truck. And well, Chris is kind of a hand down and you're gonna, you're gonna see why in a second. Bro, somebody help Chris, man. He can't get his snacks. Bro, are you okay, buddy? The struggle is real, my friend. Oh, jeez, dog. What's up, dog? Good to see you, man. Resourceful, look at that. <laughs> So, uh, you know, Chris lost some fingers there and bolted them back on real quick. Gang fight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you should see the other guy, right, Chris? Yep, yep. Oh, jeez. To the ranch we go, boys. The truck I never intended to be the tow pig is now the tow pig. We're going on a trip in our little rocket ship. That's, that's your line. I'm but, going very fast because it's a 7 -3. Bro, there's a couple right here. Look, you just go like this. Couple that was mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell. Sometimes I leave stuff everywhere. Well, good news is we made it to the ranch. Bad news is we had no trailer brakes the entire time. And there's some pretty steep downhills bringing the, uh, the truck and trailer into the ranch. So the brakes are smoking right now. They are not happy. But we got something that's going to make y'all happy right now. I mean, I think they're having a picnic. I'm not really sure what's going on. but D Dave? D Dave? Good, dude. How are you doing? Wow. Wow. Right out. Good to see right you, buddy. Yeah, I see we got the computer out. We're doing our layout. We did. I got 3% left. Yeah, we got some. Uh, I got a charger. Uh, but we got, I got yeah. a screen deal. All right, let's see what we got real quick. 3%. Right. That, 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 that don't mean nothing. All right, well, we got 0% left. Oh, that was mine. What do we got? Is it really off? Yeah. I think it may have called it. It goes from 6 to 0 in like a oh, immediate. Good seeing you, buddy. So Dave just stopped by real quick um, to throw that whole dimension of the entrance into his computer and we're coming up with a cool little diamond pattern that we're gonna end up saw cutting into the concrete once we pour it. I wanna make sure everything's dimensionally sound though so it ends up looking perfect and we have all of our dimensions and we can actually like string it out really quick and easy. How are you gonna get it from here to there without sinking in rock? You know, if she ends up in the gravel, we'll pull her out with the excavator later when it comes back to the ranch. Oh. Nine. We 
tail, you know, we ain't got no traction. Get this up here in the morning real quick, then go pick up the mini truck. Hopefully the mini truck don't go like that way. Danik, if you're watching this, order your dang Jeep parts so Zach can get this thing put back together. My house is looking like a junkyard. Partially my fault, partially my fault, partially your fault. More hits, more hits. More hits. All right, now the fun thing. If we were stuck in the street sweeper right now, James's timing would have been impeccable. What's up, buddy? Hey, bud. You him? You got it. See, I don't know what you want me to do about the sales. Okay, James. <laughs> Good plan. All right, y'all. We are here to pick up my new truck, and this might look familiar to you because, well, we're on the job site. We're doing the retaining wall shop build on, and well, get ready for this, guys. Get ready. You might already be able to see it in my reflection because y'all look close to stuff like that. But there she is, ladies and gentlemen, my new little mini truck. These things are super rad. I've wanted one for quite a while, and our buddy Alex actually just. Paid to have one imported. Um, I don't think it's here yet. And I was talking to him about it. I'm like, man, I really want one of those things. And then lo and behold, yeah. this thing popped up on the job site. The owner made me a great deal on it. So I could not turn this thing down. We'll give you a more in-depth look at it once we get it back to the shop. But this thing is super rad. So there's the Japanese version of these. I don't know the exact make. Um, this is a FA FAW. This is the Chinese knockoff of the Japanese mini truck. Hopefully it starts because I forgot to bring my jump box. So let's see if we can get her fired up here oh also not quite built for a full-size man to get in here oh she fires right on up ladies and gentlemen let her get warmed up here for a little bit but check this thing out check out the interior we got pleather seats we got a working radio uh, uh, uh. it's crazy how they like so proportionately shrink down like vans into these little mini trucks it's so cool there's such like a weird culture behind these things i am super stoked to own one oh, 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 oh. that's some chinese power right there it's got a 18,596 miles on her now the only thing with this truck this thing the brakes are very 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 minimal if any at all so i tried to get the trailer the flattest that i could just in case like we're not trying to load on a downhill. This thing just goes over the top and goes into the bed of my truck. Let's see here. Put her in first. Take the parking brake off. And away we go. Put a tree in the way.
don't have brakes or like it kinda it, it's kind of got brakes it's a little tight in there i want to see you climb in here it's a little squeeze to get your knees in there and then get your feet in there around the pedals bro daytona ready yeah hey ready down yeah. I'm down, let's go. All right, let's go, right? Driving to Daytona? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go to Daytona. All right. See you in a few days. Ain't this thing sick, dude? It, that doesn't go off. Go what? back? I said no, 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 that's as far as the seat goes back, buddy. <laughs> I am stoked to get this thing back to the shop. We'll have Zach start tearing into it, see what's wrong with the brakes, but I think it's, uh, I think it's gonna be something super minor. So back to the shop we go. Chris, what do you think, man? New work truck for you? Right, that thing's badass. The old Fa mini truck made it back to the warehouse here. This thing weighs like next to nothing. This truck going downhill, pulling the street sweeper, it like, we were cooking the brakes on that thing because the trailer brakes on the trailer aren't working. This thing, couldn't even tell it was back there. I'm doing kind of good for myself here at Green Master. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Is this thing rad or what? Uh, so, uh -oh. what are we gonna do with it? Well, uh, when you break first. I feel like that's important. That's important? Yeah. I feel like you can very easily build a lift kit for this thing. Nitrous? 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 No, back mounted turbo. Yeah. No brakes! No brakes! No brakes! No brakes! Oh! I think that's all she's got. Here, grab the other side of it. Okay, we need some brake diagnosis on I this thing. It, I think it needs a mask. I think it needs a master? Well, the, the front discs look all chewed up too. Keep up, it's got brakes. You know, everybody's been blowing up the comment section saying I need to buy Zach a truck. I think y'all think y'all think I got more money than I do, I but that, we, we might have just done it. <laughs> you found a delivery truck for Zach. Right? Brakes <laughs> <Race> work! <laughs> It's got some brakes. I don't think it's got rears. We got cold air. We got air. You got air. And it only works when it's all the way on the furthest tick. Yeah. It's all or nothing. I don't know what those are because that's how you turn the lights on. But it's, it's got, supposed to be fog lights. It's got all, the fog lights come on. Yeah. Oh, it's got all running lights. Turn the. Yep, and then the brights will go on. Dude, well, check this out. Fine. When you hit the turn signal, though. These little side markers are your turn signal too. Hold on, Zach, the coolest part, buddy. Boom, baby. Holy. It does tricks. Yeah, let's go. Fully functioning dump bed, look at that. You give me crap for going and looking at a rusty 66 F100. I'm not gonna lie, I just noticed the rust in the bed, that hole. I mean, I, I did a little bit, a little bit. We, hey, listen, a piece of corrugated metal and we got us a new, lower part of the bed but come on tell me this is not like the perfect ranch rig you guys have been giving me crap about not having a side by side you know because we got the golf cart so we improvising for about about a 40th the cost of a side by side and cheaper than a golf cart we got us the fall mini truck bro did you see the little catalytic converter on there or whatever that is I was gonna say, can we cut these yeah so this thing's got it's got like california compliant like emission stuff on it which is weird, it's like yeah, stickered. No, it's, it's fully compliant. They have to be to, to ship them over here. Cut the exhaust off and lift it. Yeah. What you know about that Gia Bow? It's got a Gia Bow. Fuel injected? Bro, that's a that's a genuine Gia Bow. Yeah, <laughs> oh, obviously. Holy macaroni, look how small the radiator is. You wanna know what my favorite part about this whole thing is, right? This is a mini truck. Everything's little, mini, cute, small. Check this out. Mini truck has the absolute biggest cup holder I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Because they know the dudes, you know, don't, you know, don't want to say too much, but we've all seen that guy at like six in the morning with his giant big old, big old with, <laughs> with, with you know all ice with a little bit of soda in it. Right? Yeah. They they had him in mind. They figured you know you're in a little cab, you're not gonna want to pee on the floor. So. Now the only downfall to this truck, again, it needs a little bit of brake work, but. It is missing a driver's side window. It's the only thing we don't have, which is kind of going to suck at the ranch because I feel like the cats are going to really enjoy living in this thing. But the good news is they'll keep the rats out. Bro, this thing's got full fold down bed sides on all three corners or three sides, I should say. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, get, get all that crap out of here. Yeah, we don't need that. 
Hold on, guys. We got us a gun lock. Got a fucking client. Must have lost a gun in the river or something. Look at this. Comes with some spongy floor matting. I like all the adjustment in the mirrors here. Oh, no. No, yeah, you got what you got? We good? Uh, yeah, right there. Perfect. Nailed it. Bro, why you look like Mogilla Gorilla in this thing? <laughs> oh. Look. Trying try to drive manual one-handed in film. You want to go through drive through? Yeah. I almost wish the steering wheel was even straighter up and down to be all like fire truckish. Dude, the turning radius on this thing's like worse than my truck. Is that? Is <laughs> that was full lock. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? I don't know. Just all of a sudden, slowed way down. Was it third? It slowed down. Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know, I was just going and then all of a sudden it just like brrr. Well yeah, because it probably you probably weren't in third. I was in third, it was speeding up. Broke down? I was in third and it was like speeding up and then it went like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. We filled it up the other day with fresh five gallons. Can we, I don't know. Can we stop? Can we stop at Starbucks? Don't go to Starbucks? Chris is dying for some Starbucks, so we're going to the Starbucks drive through here. I feel like we're like maintenance right now. I know, we look like the maintenance guys. <laughs> This thing drives really good. Suspension's not horrible. Should we jump the speed bump? Chew! Let's hit the speed bump. We're gonna hit the speed bump. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. What's up, ladies? It's a fall. Oh, speed bump, speed bump. Oh, oh god. Horn don't work. Yeah, yeah. horn? Might have some bad gas in it. When you go to the gas station? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to McDonald's. That drive-thru is way too long. Oh, dude, we can cut the drive-thru. <laughs> Speed bumps. Speed bumps. <laughs> I think we got air that. I don't know if like, putting a seatbelt on does anything in. Eh? We can go straight. We should go straight? I said, can we get back around the backside? No. I'm excited about my seatbelt. This thing is dangerous as shit on the road. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's awesome. All right. Wait, that's the drive-thru? Yeah. Dude, Starbucks always builds the worst drive-thrus. I don't even know if this thing will turn in here. Oh, we got a, we're out of peach guava and blackberry inclusions. Are you gonna be okay Come with that? On. Dude, I love the peach guava. Oh, sorry. It's my first time being in a Starbucks drive-thru. Apparently I screwed up at the order window. <laughs> Nobody was talking to me, so we just drove up and then they're like, I couldn't back up because there's a car behind us. So they started yelling at me out the little thing, like, we'll take your order at the window, so. Bro, why'd you want to come through Starbucks? This is literally the longest drive I've ever sat in my life. I just want to take a drive, you know, just a cruise. I had a lot more fun when we were moving. You need to get one of those, like, carpet dash, like, covers? dash cover things like you got. Yeah. Right, open up the glove box, man. Can, can you open it with your legs in the way? A little snake? <laughs> is there a snake in there? Oh, 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 we got a couple of somethings. <laughs> What's up? Dana, try it. Jeez, we got the door closed on us. I think they're mad at us for skipping the order window. I know. So we kind of screwed up and missed the order spot. Yeah, we would have to like go inside because like our system's like running low. Um, it's actually acting up on us right okay. now. Okay, we'll go around. Okay, thank you. Apparently their system screwed up, dog. We got to go inside. I think they're just discriminating against the mini truck. If it was a full-size truck, they deserved us. Yeah, why did, how come everybody else got their drink? Right. Hey, you just turned this into like... You, you won't just park in the concrete. <laughs> we, we maintenance, dog. What do you mean I won't park in the concrete? Hey, you're going in. I don't even have a mask. mask. I don't have a mask either. All right, now go get your Starbucks. <laughs> Dropping you off at school here. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Apparently, I have to have a mask to go with that. Your, your shirt that. that they. Yeah. yeah. So, your shirt that's made out of the same material that they want a mask out of. Not yeah. good enough? No. no. We got kicked out of the drive thru, now we got kicked out of inside. Go ahead, sir. We don't want to hit you with the mini truck. Might sprain your ankle. Good. Light turn. Light turn. Oh, the perfect. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little mad right now. You're a little mad? Yeah. Starbucks? Yeah. <laughs> like, how come the person in front of us got their drinks? 
all of a sudden their system's messed up. Right. I go inside, spend like a hundred dollars. See, look, it falls flat on its face in third gear. That's third gear, 100%. Let's try fourth. Fourth is better. I think you're just shifting too soon. No, it goes, it starts going and then it just drops off at the bottom of fourth or third. I wonder if it's got a governor that we're hitting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Like around. the old school, like so beacons. The, yeah, the beat, but the, the rectangular ones, like off the old cop cars. This is the vehicle for the guy that's gonna work the guard shack at the new gate. It's the security vehicle. Yeah. Dude. Not me though. Not okay, me. it's definitely getting security liveried for sure. Right? Dang. We'll put security backwards on the front, you know, so you can read it in your rearview mirror. Dude, I want this like full time driving around my property at night, so all the neighbors definitely think drug dealer after they see the entrance and we got private security full time. You know, at, at the old boot barn, you can get bullhorns for 60 bucks. Oh, pff, done deal. <laughs> done deal. <laughs> what dog, you, you getting foam cannon too? Oh, well, uh, pull out your scanner. Cause it'll do, you can hold it a second, it does the same thing. It, it's like it's running out of fuel. But then like right now, like if you rev it, it goes, it's sputtered. Could be bad gas. <laughs> Fuel, yeah, it's been it's sitting. It's weird that it chops out real bad. It's almost like either it's getting a bunch of water, maybe, when it's high RPM, or could be a clogged fuel filter. Chris, go run down to the store and give me a, a fuel filter for a FA mini truck. It's a FA. It's a FA. Uh, what year? Yeah, we don't know that. Well, I know the San Diego Zoo put it into their fleet in 2018? Clearly with a, I'm gonna say with a cassette player, this ain't no 2018, but then I also don't know. They do weird stuff on Chinese knockoffs. Maybe they're like, oh, cassette players are still cool. We'll put that in the 2018s. This is what we had on the shelf for the last 20 years. Let's see if she's got oil. Ah. Some on the dipstick. Where'd the dipstick come from? <laughs> uh. Let's know like for real, where'd the dipstick come from? <laughs> Oh, found it. Just sitting in a quart of oil down there. <laughs> they zip tied a quart to the bottom of the frame. Oh, it's got oil. All right. It's even clean. Yeah, it looks good. What do you smell here to taste test it, though? So the guide really doesn't guide it in. Okay. And then it's got sand next to the hole, so make sure, you know, if you ever check it, which I know you don't, so I don't, I don't know what I mean. Yeah, we, we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Let me borrow your flashlight. I found a the People's Republic of China. Cool. Let's see, engine model, engine power, 3.2 kilowatts. So, less power than our fan. Dude, it's a 2005. No way. Yeah. This thing scream 90s. No, it says 2005 production date, 1490 kilograms. Payload, 700 kilograms. Yeah. I'm gonna need to do some calculamotating on that one. 890 cc's? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. See, you guys over here saying I need a 1000 cc razor? Got an 890cc fall. All right, 700, let's see, kilograms to pounds. This thing's got a payload of 1,500 pounds in the bed. Well, I mean, maybe not this bed with the rust, but this thing weighs 3,200 pounds. That's surprising. This engine conforms to 2004 and later California and US EPA engines emission regulations for off-road large SI engines. A little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of renegade detail supplies, and we got the old fall looking pretty good here. Look at that interior, nice and shiny other than the dash, but you know, we get a little dash carpet pad made for this thing. Yeah. I'm very surprised the seats are in as good a condition as they are. No tire what? No tire shine? I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I put a little VRT, a little vinyl rubber trim on there. Okay. Just to, you know, bring back a little color. These tires are a little dry rotted. Who knows how long these tires are gonna be on here though, you know? We, we got some big plans for this thing, but uh, Chris just got off the phone with this glass guy. The good news is he thinks he can make us a glass piece for this door because we have the other one so they can just mimic it and mirror it so hopefully that ends up working out because honestly the only downfall to this thing right now other than like getting the brakes figured out is like this is going to suck out at the ranch so if we can get the glass for this thing the interior is going to stay mint and clean might just have oscar re reupholster the whole thing i mean we could use some door panels not gonna lie the, the, this one yeah, that's kind this of one weird. grosses me out a little bit gauge cluster everything up in here polished up looking good oh, what do we think one of the flip out head units with a backup camera and stuff on it? I'll probably find one of those for like a couple hundred bucks on Amazon. Sergio, this thing's coming to you next, buddy. After we get our glass. I don't think there's, yeah, there's no speakers in the door, unless they're behind a panel. So that's, I think that might be a, that's a defrost vent. I don't know where the speakers are. Uh, 
that home's new value. Use it. Use it to oh, right here, dude. And if you act now, you Look can even skip grill. your next two house payments. Call I don't think there is one on this side. I think it's only on the driver's side. What, dude? You just cut your other hand? Almost. That is sharp right there. Yeah. Well, in the next couple days here, Zach will start pulling this thing apart, doing some checks on the engine, make sure everything is good. But with that, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah.